there. This is Clark with Learn to Blog. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, soliloquy, or sol <laughs> soliloquy. Uh, I have trouble saying that. I'm from the South. Um, slider uh, plugin there. So um, what we're going to be talking about is what it is, how to create one, and um, how to implement one and all the different options that come with this. Uh, it's, it's a great, great tool. So um, first things first, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to create a slider for our front page. We are going to make a slider where that is going to display right up here. Instead of this banner, we're going to have a slider. And uh, I'll show you how that works. So what we're going to do is first add new. And let's talk about all the different types of sliders you can have. We can have a default slider, which is pretty much just images that you throw in there. Um, you can do an Instagram slider. So you hook in your Instagram account and uh, it'll do a feed from your Instagram. And you can do featured content. So this will take images that you've set as your featured image um, and turn that into the image for the slider and then uh, the title of your post along with maybe uh, some details or something like that uh, in the uh, corner there so or in a corner depending on which uh, theme you choose for this so let's go ahead and create a featured content slider. I think that's that's good. It'll it'll uh, feature your posts, and uh, we'll go from there. So when I select that, a whole slew of options is going to show up in just a moment. Here we go. So we're talking about posts here. Um, we have uh, we could be doing a category if we wanted to. Uh, we could be doing lots of different things. So within posts, we could do a specific category. Um, we could include or exclude uh, certain items from that. Um, you can even include sticky posts if you wanted to. Um, you can uh, sort posts by the date or all these different items here. You can make them completely random. Um, you can, uh, let's see here, the meta key is used when ordering posts, used um, when uh, used when you sort posts by meta value. So you could do that as well. Um, you could also do them by descending order, ascending order, uh, or ascending order. Uh, the number of slides we're doing right now is five. Let's make that four. Um, we can do post offset zero. That means uh, if, you, uh, if you're doing four slides, um, do you want to start on slide number two, number three, or do you want to start on the last slide? And then it loops around if you want. So um, you have those options. Um, post status published. Um, so we can do pretty much anything that's set to pending, draft, scheduled, published. So um, you could do like a coming soon slider and uh, set all your scheduled posts to uh, to be up there, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, what else? Content settings. So you have uh, all these options down here as well. You also have a fallback image URL. So if you have a post that is somehow made it through all the categories, all the posts that you've set up here, and for some reason it doesn't have a featured image, and you don't have an image anywhere in the post at all, then you can set up a fallback image that will automatically display with uh, the text so uh, that's that's pretty cool I like that too um, read more text you could say continue reading read on discover more whatever you want so um, and then you can display a post expert uh, excerpt uh, no content or post content so either all of it uh, just a little preview of it or none of it is essentially what that is. So we're going to link the image to the URL. We're going to display the post title. And uh, I think both of these, uh, post title, 
Oh, so we're going to link the image and the post title to um, the post. So if you if anyone clicks on that slider, uh, depending on which slider is being displayed, it'll it'll take you right to that post. Great, good stuff. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to go to config. Um, the size of the front of this, uh, or at least that banner I have up there currently, is about 2,000 pixels across by 500 tall. Um, we uh, This is how you want it to transition. You can do a ticker, a continuous horizontal scroll if you wanted to. Um, let's just do a fade. That's fine. Uh, slider transition is set to 5... Uh, 5,000 milliseconds, which is essentially five seconds. We'll do that to six. Um, this is how fast it goes in between those slides. We we'll do that to three. Uh, slider position centered, perfect. Gutter, let's do zero. Um, auto start, yes. Show the arrows, no, we don't need that. Um, show the slider navigation control, um, yeah. It's, those are the little, tiny little circles that are either underneath or squares or something like that. Show the play pause controls. No. Um, pause on hover. Sure. Loop slider. Yes. Randomized slider. Sure. Um, enable keyboard navigation. Okay. Um, and let's see here. Adaptive height. That looks good. Crop images and slider. Sure, if that needs to be the case. Uh, this what this does is um, you don't have to worry about all of your images being specifically the same size as the slider. It will crop them for you, which is good. Um, you don't have some crazy, crazy stuff going on. Okay, so other options we have up here: uh, mobile. Um, you have different options for displaying the slider on a mobile phone. Carousel. Uh, this shows um, uh, different. I believe images um, that, let's see here, you know what, we'll enable it and you'll see, uh, you'll see exactly what that is. Lightbox, we'll enable that so you can see what that is. Uh, Pinterest, you can do a pin it button if you wanted to. Um, if you were doing, say, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe you were doing a, a slider for different products you have or something like that. So that would be a good idea to uh, to do a pin it button there. Um, schedule, so you can actually schedule when this slider starts and ends, which is pretty neat. Uh, thumbnails, those are little, little thumbnails are uh, tiny little pictures of the sliders, um, each slider um, underneath the slider, which is what that is. And um, we're not gonna, yeah, sure, why not? We're going to do that, but I'll tell you what, um, it's not going to look good to have all these different things turned on. You don't want to turn on everything, but it might be good to turn on everything, see what it looks like, and then start turning off the stuff that you don't like, um, just to be familiar with it. And miscellaneous is more for um, for you coders out there who know CSS. Uh, you can jump in here and make custom edits to the way the slider looks, if you like. So that is, uh, these are all the options, and that's, that's pretty cool. So we're going to call this Featured Content, and uh, we're going to go ahead and publish that. Cool. So I went ahead and made sure on the, uh, the four posts that we're going to be doing a slider on that the, um, uh, that the content or the featured image was large enough to accommodate a 2,000 pixel by 500 pixel slider. I mean, that's that's going to be a very large image. So I went and go, found large images that would accommodate that size slider, and then you know set those as the featured image. If your images are small and you do a large slider like that, it's not going to look very good. So keep that in mind. So you're going to want to use large images as your featured image if you want to do a large slider. So, um, so know that. Uh, what is this? So this is a uh, short code. So you have a description of how to use this if you wanted to. So you could actually copy this code and um, you could 
put it inside of a post or something like that if you wanted to. And that's what that's for. So now what we're going to do is we're going to display the slider on the front page. So I'm going to go to Appearance, go to Widgets. Then I'm going to go to Home Featured. Right now um, I have uh, an image being displayed here with a little HTML code. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. We'll put that down here. And I'm going to, oops, wrong one. Uh, the soliloquy uh, widget's already here. Uh, featured content is already selected. Um, it's the only option right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now I'm going to the front of the site and hit refresh or reload. And didn't like that at all. That's just unfortunate. So it's probably because I put all of those options at once. So let's go ahead and turn off all those crazy things on the featured image. Where are you? Right there. So I'm going to go through and turn off carousel, turn off lightbox. This is great if you're using photos. This is not great if you're using, um, not great if you are using a uh, featured content slider. So that is what happened there. Uh, let's go ahead and go back and reload. See what happens. Hey, look at that. It worked. So. Here it is. Here are my featured images for those posts. And it is going to continue as long as I don't hover over, I believe. So if I hover over it, the whole thing's going to stop. But that's uh that's it. That's how that works. And now we have a slider as our featured content. So it's really that simple. Uh it's it's pretty amazing stuff. We're also going to talk about making a a little tiny slider to go down here right now. So let's uh, let's see what that looks like. I am going to take all these little logos I have for these plugins that are in the Ultimate Blog Design, and we're going to make a little slider out of that. So I'm going to add new. I'm going to do say premium. Features, or features, yeah, premium features slider. Or, okay, now we're going to just do a default slider type, and I'm going to load in some images. So I hit the select image button here. So I'm going to select all these, and except for that one, we don't want that one. So all these hit open. All right, it looks like all those images are in right now. So what we're going to be doing next is, uh, if you wanted to, you could actually click on the little eye right here, and you could add in a title, um, alternative text. You could even put a hyperlink in there, which uh, may not be a bad idea. You could put a, a link to the post that talks about this item. Or you could also... Um, put in a caption. You have all these uh, different options here. Very, very cool stuff. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, I need to do the configure on this. So, let's go ahead and I looked earlier. The uh, size is 180 by uh, 210, I think. And we'll do a yeah, this one looks fun. We'll do a ticker continuous and see what that looks like. Might be neat, might not be neat. We'll see. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And then we're going to go over to appearance, go to widgets. And let's do, that's going to be in the primary sidebar. I've already put it there. It's right there. Um, so 
It has uh, the wrong slider there, so I'm going to select it and do... Oh, no, it has the right one. That's the correct one. You go ahead and hit Save. I could even title this if I wanted to. So I could put Premium Features. B-A-T-E-R-E-S. And Save. So now that that's done, I'm going to go to the front of the page and reload it. Okay. So let's scroll on down, and it's at the bottom, and there it is. So that's what the continuous ticker one does. It just keeps going and going. You know, I don't know if I like that. I don't know. Let's uh, let's try something else. Let's do. Let's go into this. And let's see about changing that up. A horizontal scroll. All right, so that looks good. That's updating. And then uh, let's uh, let's go back to this and reload it. So the premium features labeled showed up. And uh, now we have that. But we have our arrows here. Um, I'm not a big fan of the arrows. Let's get rid of the arrows. So where is the arrows? Show slider arrows. No, we don't want it. Go ahead and update. Probably don't want the uh, navigation either. Where's that? Because I mean it's so tiny. So navigation, no, we're gonna unclick that as well. Update, and that's updating. I'm going to reload this. Cool, and it's done. So now we have a tiny little slider here. Um, what we can do with this is uh, you could use this um, with your say your your affiliate links if you wanted to honestly I don't see why that would be a problem um, that'd be pretty cool uh, it's it's not good to do a whole a whole bunch of affiliate links but you could uh, you could definitely do that so um, but yeah that's uh, that's my recommendation um, that is uh, soliloquy and if you uh, if you have any questions about that, they have some great support and uh, great uh, questions and answered frequent frequently asked questions on their website. So um, definitely check that out. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care.